if you look at the deadline you see that is from march to september which they are going to be taking admission and application and if you look at this place said application for admission is from 6th of march to 30th of june okay so that's why i'm making this video for you at this time so that you can easily apply for program in this university okay so in today's video i'm going to be walking you through how you can apply to this university and pay a very low tuition fee and also in this document i have here it says that you can apply for tuition waiver okay so we are going to be looking at all of this and how you can pay a very low tuition fee and also how you can get uh free accommodation and all of those things we are also going to be looking at the visa application process as well okay so i want you to listen to every part of this video and follow it step by step so that you don't miss out anything at any point because you don't know if is at the point you skip the video that is when i give further information about this university okay so uh i'm always concerned about programs that are totally taught in english okay so this university have programs that are taught in english and they also have programs that are taught in italian and english okay but if you look at their bachelor degree program you can see that they have only two courses that are available for bachelor degree program and if you go to the single cycle degree program you will see that they only have one program that is available but under the master degree program they have more courses okay so you can see now uh they group it according to the faculty so faculty of law faculty of medicine agriculture and food science uh pharmacy science and technology and all the rest okay but note not all these programs are available for application at this time so you have to pay attention to this video very very well okay so as an international uh student who is trying to apply to this university and want to or uh, needs visa to come to italy you have to understand that uh you cannot apply to this university if you don't uh, meet all the requirements okay so you need to understand that uh university enrollment in italy is regulated by the ministry provision established by different admission and on the contrary some uh notes some notes needs to be taken or some things need to be uh take note of okay so because you apply or you've done your pre-enrollment on university Italy, does not automatically give you admission in this university so you must uh, complete your admission on this university website or university portal before you process your pre-enrollment on the university uh university italy website and university uh university italy acceptance does not cover any right to the completion of the enrollment process even in the case that you've obtained your study visa or physical presence in the country or eligibility or obtainment of scholarship or grants okay so this does not give you the guarantee that you are going to get admission into this university okay so that's why we are going to be talking about the field and payments how you can uh, apply for tuition waiver how you can uh, pay tuition fee if you don't get the tuition waiver and also how you can get a student loan if you want to use that okay so they also have the part-time enrollment as well so these are all the things we are going to be looking at in today's video okay students with disability of 60 percent or more are going to be getting uh exemption okay but note that the programs that are available for the master degree program are biomedicine uh, medical technology and all of those so make sure you check your course and the requirements for this course before you proceed okay so i'm going to be using uh this one for example okay so let's look at one of these courses and see if we can actually okay so let's look under the uh political economy and social science so let's click on this so it give us this page then if you go up now it says uh finance and economics okay so course sheets ay 2023 2024 master program lm system finanza okay so this is a master degree course and is 20 ECTS and access open with entry requirements examination. So this is a two years program and the location is Milano. Okay. So today's uh, video, we are talking about the University of Milan. Okay. And this course is taught in English. Okay. So if you come back here, you are going to see that some of these courses, if you check, if you check this computer science course now, is taught in 
Italian and English language. So make sure that when you are trying to check the course requirements, make sure you also check the course uh, language as well so that you don't have issue with your application. Okay. And also it says the first year course common to both curricula also provide a capacity capability in statistics, mathematics, and computational techniques. But you must know that if you want to apply for this program, you must have your uh, your previous education in this background. And if you are trying to uh, apply for a master degree program in any of the country, you also need that you need the basic, uh, the basic requirements, which is a bachelor degree program certificate and your bachelor degree program transcripts, your uh, O-level certificates, that's your 12 years certificate. You also need that as well for you to complete the application. Okay, so if you look at requirements and additional learning requirements, if you scroll down here, it says to attend the master degree program in economics and finance, it is necessary to demonstrate to possess strong knowledge of mathematics, economics and statistics. So. In your bachelor degree certificate, you must have strong knowledge of mathematics, economics, and statistics at the undergraduate level. Okay, so this is what they are telling you here. So if you don't have or if you don't pass your mathematics, economics, or statistics, so I think you might be looking at other programs that you can apply to. Okay, so it says candidates lacking one or more of the following minimum entry requirements will not be assessed. By the administrator committee so don't waste your time or resources applying for a program that you know that you do not meet the requirements okay so it's a criterion academic curriculum okay so description length that is number of year taking and quality then degree as well as the final graduation mark maximum score of 80 okay choice of coherence so make sure you check all these requirements before you start your application okay applicants who obtain a score equal or less than 70 points are not admitted okay and applicants who obtain a score above 70 points but less than 80 might be invited for an oral interview held in english language and exclusively done via electronic device e.g., described the interview is aimed at examining in depth the applicant background knowledge and motivation so if you tell them that you have knowledge of mathematics, economics, statistics in your previous uh, degree level, they are going to examine or they are going to test you on this thing in at the interview session. Okay, so make sure you get yourself prepared. And this particular program that I open is going to uh, stop taking application from 30th of June. Okay, so you have all the time right now okay so this is just this is uh this is uh at this point you still have time to apply okay so that's what i want to say there make sure that you uh follow the procedure then you can read more information about the program so i'm just using this as uh example okay so if you study or uh, if you take this program these are uh, possible uh, career pathway that you can actually follow, okay? So you can become an operator analyst of financial market, academic researcher of researcher in research department with economics and financial institution. So these are career paths that you can actually follow, okay? And if you go to study abroad, so you can just go through all of this and therefore encourage them to spend time of their study abroad in Erasmus Plus program. Okay, Erasmus provides opportunity to study, train, gain work experience and skill. Students can go abroad from three up to twelve months, including a complementary traineeship period if planned, and may receive additional grants for studying or training. Okay, so this is just like internship for you. Okay, and just read all these requirements. I don't want to bore you with this information. Okay, so what I'm just trying to uh, pick out for you right here is that you can still apply to this university if you wish to apply to this university, University of Milan. Okay, so I'm going to drop all the uh, necessary link at the description of this video so that you can easily follow this link and apply. Okay, so you can easily 
follow the link and apply okay so if you look at this i think this is one of the bachelor degree program so it's one of the master degree program i think so uh this is taught in english it's a two years program uh, milano or pavia open with entry requirement examination okay so you have to understand that uh you are going to write entrance examination for you to gain admission or for you to be admitted into this program okay and if you click on uh call for application you are going to see some uh things that you can actually read through okay so if you come here we are going to see some of the requirements how to follow the uh registration portal to complete your registration online so registration in the online student registry so this is just like a guideline that the university have put for you on their website okay so if you come here you can click on each of this program how to apply and all of those things so this is it i just click on that how to apply so it's taking us step by step how you can complete your application without uh too much uh stress okay so you upload your passport here you have to upload your passport image then you select the uh, administration category so if you are an eu citizen or non-eu citizen complete all those steps fill in all your information upload your first degree uh certificates if you obtain if you obtain a foreign qualification select foreign certificate and click on insert okay so this is where you can upload your document and the rest okay so it is very easy for you to navigate so i'm going to drop all this link for you then after that you can now proceed to universe italy to start your visa application okay so in here it says let's go up it says please attach only self certification certificate issued by other italian public admission eg university will not be accepted under any circumstances okay so this is for people for italian candidates okay so this is for both italian and foreign candidates okay so attaching the required documents will no longer be possible once the application process is completed so make sure you upload all the documents that we've seen right here your passport your degree certificate transcript all of those things make sure you up upload them okay then you can now proceed to university Italy. so i've talked about how you can complete your application on university Italy several times okay so we don't need to you, you don't even need to come and go through this again so they are showing you that you should uh pre-enroll now okay so these are things that con are contained in this is a pdf document okay so you just upload your document again and all of those things okay you see now candidates lacking the required documentation or signature will not be accepted so make sure you upload all your documents and you follow all the procedure uh, in this pdf okay so this is what i actually click on okay so it is very easy for you to uh, complete this application if you follow the video step by step and you click here and follow all this uh, step by step uh, procedure okay because some people they will ask show us how we can do the application ourselves okay so that's why that's what i'm actually showing you right now and once you complete your application in most cases when you apply to a university the scholarship will be awarded to you automatically in most cases you will have to apply for the scholarship separately okay and in most times they will not even tell you that you can actually apply for a scholarship okay and in most time you have to ask them that how can you apply for scholarship or other tuition fee waiver benefits that other students can enjoy okay so i will drop all this link for you especially for this tuition waiver so that you can read more information about it okay and also fee current academic year how you can pay your tuition fee uh tuition fee exemption procedure and all of those things and how you can get a loan so if you find this video useful let me see your comments at the comment box if you have any question like this video share this video with your friends then till then i will see you in another one if you have a particular university you have problem with maybe you are having problem with the application procedure let me know at the comment box so that we can help you or make a video for you about this university uh student registration procedure so uh we might not we, we can't say uh, other students might also be facing 
this challenge as well okay